so it's uh, week six of our uh, patio gardening experiment. And uh, as you can see here, our basil is doing quite well. There's still a few unidentified things. We think this right here in the, in the center of the screen is tomato, or at least I do. Tiffany's not convinced. What do you think, Tiffany? I don't know what it is. She doesn't know what it is. Uh, our green pepper is doing okay. It's looking a little... Um, green onion. Green onion, thank you. It's looking a little wilted. Um, I think the big news this week is that we have moved everything outside. So it's outside here on the patio uh, on a full-time basis. Uh, some things still need to be transplanted. You're looking at uh, green pepper and, and uh, tomato as well as uh, zucchini and yellow squash. Um, but uh, everything seems to be doing pretty well, isn't that right Tiffany? Nothing's died. Uh, these are tomato here and some cucumber in the tomato in the uh, milk jugs. More uh, tomato. So, and a few seedlings here. But we're not sure if we're going to transplant them or not. Um, so, Tiffany, let's talk briefly about uh, the beans. Well, before we do that, these yeah. are our peppers over here. Mm hmm. And we had somebody comment who said that our peppers look like they were dead and that we should uh, write a eulogy for them. Yeah. Well, they're they're fine. I mean, they're green and they're still growing and they survived the transplanting. So um, unless somebody out there is psychic or knows something more than we know, we're, we think they're okay. <laughs> yeah, our green peppers definitely don't look terrible, I think. Not having grown green peppers before, I don't know, but... Anyway, so the beans, or let's talk about these guys. Well, the beans uh, flowered this week. And we have these in, just so folks maybe don't remember last time, we have these upside down suspended in tomato cages. Uh, hopefully they're going to vine up to this area. We can circle around. And they're on the second level of these cages. Here. We have four of these. So they started to flower this week, and here's an example of the, the flowering. And uh, the ones that flowered earlier this week have already started to develop beans. So here's a little, this is about the biggest one we have right now. Little, we have others that are smaller. Where is that exactly? I can't even see it. It's right here. Oh this, my goodness, you're this right. Is it right here. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. That really. Okay, let me just focus. <laughs> Where is it? This is it right here. Right there. It's so small I can't even find the damn thing. Oh, here it is. It's on my okay. hand. <laughs> yeah, so that supposedly is a bean. It's, it's just starting out. It'll get bigger. It'll be about when it's full size it should hopefully be about this big. So it's got a ways to go, but you know, this is the first of our plants that has started to produce fruit, so that's great to see. That's very exciting to see. And it seems like most of our bean plants have they at least have flowers. A lot of them have little beans that are starting to come out. Yeah. So that's very exciting to see. So that's pretty much what's going on. Um, we bought a couple of window boxes right here, which you can see. Um, the thing with these guys is we're going to have a little bit of difficulty attaching them onto this railing here because our railing is actually a little bit too skinny. Um, that's impossible to show right now, but hopefully we'll have them up by next week. Uh, we've got a couple more pots here, large pots for the... Uh, zucchini and the squash. So that's what's going on week six. Uh, stay tuned. We'll update next Sunday. Thanks for watching.